Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Commercial UAV Expo 2022 at the fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Roswell Flight Test Crew here at Commercial UAV Expo 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here at the Idea Forge booth with Ankit Mehta. How are you doing, Ankit? Doing great, Patrick. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Any day you're spending looking at drones is a good day. I saw this one over here in your booth. It's a, it's a VTOL looking thing. I'm guessing you know surveillance is its mission. But what really jumped out at me is it looks to me like the, the wings are made of EPO foam, which is not something you'd see in a US-based aircraft of this design, mission, etc. So what's going on here? So uh, this is not EPO, this is EPP. And um, we, uh, when we were designing these systems, uh, we had built a few fixed wing aircrafts earlier. And one of the most common things with fixed wing aircrafts is, uh, like they say, that every fixed wing aircraft landing is a controlled crash. <laughs> so uh, you had to make something that uh, even if uh, actually crashed, was much more simpler to replace for the user. Because for us, as a company, our mission is to one, build cutting edge technology, but at the same time to drive its adoption. And if people are worried about their birds, if people are worried about the cost of replacing their uh, wings or cost of replacing their systems, then they're not going to use it very often. So in keeping in mind that we want the user to take them out there to use, disabuse, whatever they want to do with these systems for the longest period of time, we made sure that we adopt these EPP foam which is used in most of the car uh, bumpers, it is used in the sun visors, and it is known to be an extremely resilient material that lasts for a very, very long time. It is very tough. Uh, I, my favorite demo, uh, as you would have seen, is to pull it out, throw it on the ground, jump on it, and to show you that it's actually a very, very tough material. And it's held us in great stead because while being that tough, which by the way, you'll never be able to replicate with a composite, uh, it is extremely, extremely reliable and resilient in all kinds of temperature conditions. So that's the reason why we've used them and we use them in a lot of places, not just in the wings. Actually, our backpack, if you see that the system goes into, is built again with EPP and these backpacks are IP66 rated, which implies that you can wade through any amount of water, come back out, and the drone at least will come out clean on the other side. And not to mention, you could probably use it as a flotation device if it came to that. Absolutely. <laughs> now, let me ask you about the aircraft. Well, let's start with the sensor because you've got a formidable looking sensor ball under there. Like I said, a surveillance mission, I'm assuming. And what does that sensor ball do for us? So, uh, what we've been focused on over the many years is that we need to make sure that the customer is able to get his mission done, right? The customer is very rarely focused as a outcome on flying. And therefore, when we look at what the customer wants to get done, particularly when he's looking at doing a security operation, is that he wants to observe the target by being as far as he can be from the target so that he's out of your shot and he's still able to observe the target with as much clarity as possible. So these platforms come with a 25x day camera which looks as narrow as 2.3 degrees and can do further digital zoom. So you are able to detect if they are carrying weapons from a height of almost 1500 meters. And uh, I'm talking about large weapons here, but uh, that's good enough in the kind of environments that our customers operate in, particularly when you are going that far out. When you're usually not that far out, you're flying lower as well. And at that time, you'll be able to see even them carrying small weapons if need be. So the idea always has been to keep them at a safe distance, to not be detected, but to be able to observe with a lot of peace of mind, with a lot of clarity. And when we do this with day cameras, we are a company that believes that the customer's mission, particularly a security mission, is actually more relevant in the night. Because that's when they can't see with their own eyes. And therefore, how do we get them eyes in the night? And even there, we make sure that we get them the highest quality sensor with the narrowest field of view for them to be able to detect movement on ground, if whether there are people on ground, whether there's something that needs to be observed from a far enough distance that they can stay safe. And so you've got a thermal camera, I assume, for that part of the mission? Yes, we use a thermal camera for that. 
high resolution, narrow field of view, uh, giving very high clarity in these kind of environments. Hey, let's talk a little bit about the aircraft itself. I mean, how long does it fly? You know, what's its maximum takeoff weight? Are there, there hot and cold limitations? All the rest of that stuff. So this is a very unique platform in its category that in less than seven kgs of all up weight, the platform flies for more than two hours at mean sea level. Uh, it can take off from 4,500 meters and deliver more than 90 minutes of flight time at that altitude. So it is, it is the highest performing platform for its weight class in this category of systems. And this platform goes in a backpack with two batteries uh, in less than 15 kgs, which implies that you can carry it in the field with one more backpack for the control station and you are set up for continuous operations in a very, very easy to deploy environment. It is completely snap fit, so everything just comes out like a zip, snaps back in and you are able to go off the ground in less than seven minutes from fully packed condition and you can do this operation, you can repeat and rinse for as many times as possible in a day. The system will not exhaust, you will get tired. And then one last thing, obviously you're here at the Commercial UAV Expo in Las Vegas, United States, so you're looking to branch out to the US. Somebody over here wants to get in touch with you. What, what, how do they do that? So uh, in US, uh, what we've done is we've started to get a lot of partners uh, who are uh, extremely keen on pitching this technology which is NDA Section 848 compliant. So there is no active component that comes from any covered entity and therefore uh, we have RMUS who is one of our distributors here so they can get in touch with RMUS. Uh, we have our coordinates on our website which is ideaforgetech.com and uh, we'll be very happy to get in touch. We'll be very happy to take you through our products and make sure that uh, we are able to arrive at the right product and solution fit that allows you to do operations at scale. Our focus at Idea Forge is to give you a high performance, reliable drone that is backed with the experience of more than 260,000 flights with our end customers, not by our own selves, with our end customers, with every minute or six minutes an Idea Forge drone taking off and doing either a security or a surveying mission uh, out there. So that's what our promise is. We guarantee that when we put something on paper, we will deliver and we'll work very, very hard to make sure that you're able to adopt the system and not just buy it. Well, Ankit, thank you so much for sharing with us. It's a, it's a great looking product and I love all the steps you've taken to make it survivable. Because I think, frankly, that's something people miss out on. But anyway, thanks so much for telling us about it. Thank you so much, Patrick. Real pleasure to speak to you. Nice pleasure to speak with you too. All right, and from Commercial UAV Expo 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.